It's 9.20am. A layer of snow has covered cave and two cars have just driven up to St Andrew's Church. An exarch, or in other words a representative of the ecumenical patriarch, gets out of a dark grey car. This is Archbishop Daniel. He was born in Ukraine and lives in the US, but is visiting his homeland to help organise the Ukrainian Orthodox Church's Unification Council. This car is closely followed by a police car and other priests from Constantinople. Accompanied by a guard, they climb the steps to the church. The man with the cane is Metropolitan Emmanuel of France. He is the Ecumenical Patriarch's special representative in Ukraine's Unification Council. He chaired the council and oversaw the election for the head of the new church. On December 13th, St Andrew's Day, the Constantinople priest held the first service in St Andrew's Church. It was transferred to the Ecumenical Patriarchate by the Ukrainian Parliament on October 18th. The service was conducted in three languages, Church Slavonic, Ukrainian and Greek. It was attended by representatives of the different Ukrainian Orthodox churches, the Kiev Patriarchate, the Moscow Patriarchate and the Autocephalous Church. The church used to belong to the Ukrainian Autocephalous Church. Renovation work on St Andrews began after the transfer. Restoration of the church's frescoes is set to last until 2020. But this did not get in the way of Constantinople Patriarchate's first service. Reconstruction was halted for the day and started up again the day after. There wasn't much room in the church amid all the scaffolding, but there were a lot of churchgoers there wanting to attend this historic debut mass. This is the first in Ukraine. Today is such a holy nice day, St. Andrew's Day, and well, I wanted to take part in this historic event. Historic events are unfolding before us. Ukraine is finally forming a real united church. Some people are comparing this event to the formation of Ukrainian independence. What do you think? This is a half of our independence, I think. For a long time, the Kiev Patriarchate and the Autocephalous Church were not officially recognized by the Ecumenical Patriarchate. Only the Moscow Patriarchate, as a branch of the Russian Orthodox Church, was recognized as canonical in the Orthodox world. Recently, the Ecumenical Patriarch decided to renew the canonical status of the so-called schismatic primates of the Ukrainian Patriarchate and the Autocephalous Church. Apart from the fact that this is a new experience, this is about taking part in the services, the liturgies, together with the entire Orthodox Church. Personally, I go to the Kiev Patriarchate, and for us, the issue was that the representatives of the Moscow Patriarchate have called us the schismatics, and that it was difficult for us to communicate with the ecumenical Orthodox Church. This issue is now being solved positively. At the end of the service, the chair of the Unification Council, Metropolitan Emmanuel, addressed the churchgoers. On December 15th, the Unification Council, under his leadership, elected the head of the Orthodox Church, Metropolitan Epiphanius, who will receive the document formalizing the independent church on January the 6th. We pray for you and we stand with you. Also at this uh, critical moment. Because we consider that uh, Ukraine has a better future. And the United Church, United Autocephalous Church here in Ukraine, is not only the dream, but we have, uh, with the help of God and of everybody, to make it. Uh, it's a, it's a very historic day for us and, for us and to celebrate in St. Andrew's Church here. Thank you. It's a good start.